benchmark pressure washing and we're local to the area. My day job is with Bank of North Carolina. I'm a commercial lender. And I moved into this area several years ago and was actually very interested in building my business. And so I was looking around at uh, some of the local leaders and what was making them successful. And one of the folks that I, that I noticed was a um, number one real estate team. This team is, was number one, they are number one, they're still number one, they probably will always be number one in the Cabarrus County area. And so I was very intrigued about what, what is their secret? Why are they so successful? If you look at them, they didn't look like anything really special. So I, was, I had the opportunity to work with the owner of the real estate company with a Chamber of Commerce membership drive. And she was the team captain and I was on her team. And as we were looking for members <coughs> for the chamber, I began to get these little handwritten cards from her throughout the campaign that lasted several weeks. She would send me a card to kind of encourage all the team members, to thank the team members for their time, uh, to congratulate us when we were successful in uh, selling a membership. And so, you know, I, I thought, well, this, this is neat. She's taking time to, you know, just a short message, but a nice card, sending it out to me. As I got to know her a little bit later on, I started getting birthday cards from her and Christmas cards, and all year, a, a nice little card, handwritten note, you know, signed by her, and I began to realize what was making her so successful. Started using it in my business, and it was very well received. Customers really appreciated, you know, you're taking time to say thank you. So when Erin started pressure, uh, Benchmark Pressure Washing, we wanted to also be very, uh, appreciative of the customers that we had and as we solicited new customers we wanted to be able to reach out and touch them so we sat down with a promotional guy just like the rest of you we bought some promotional items we bought the pens the cups the the uh the pencils and all those things that we would give away with our name and logo on it and we began to use that information that information to solicit business uh, Aaron would go clean a house, he'd bring home the check, I'd make a copy of the check before I deposited it, and I would use that information kind of as my database. You know, I, I, I would send, I, uh, send out a thank you note, I'd stuff the envelope, address the envelope, put one of our promotional items in the envelope, and mail it out. Very well received, people liked getting a little freebie, you know, a thank, a personal thank you. And that worked really well for a couple of years. But after a while, my, my stacks of those copies of checks began to really grow. And when I would get ready to send out maybe my holiday cards at Christmas, uh, you know, I had, I had quite a chore to, you know, buy those cards, address those cards, write my personal note, still, still writing that personal note, and getting it out in the mail became a real chore. So I began to look for a database. Okay, I gotta find a way to be more organized. I wanna stay in touch with those customers, you know, you know, nothing is more valuable to you than a repeat customer and a good referral. So you want to go back to them year after year and touch them. And so I, I heard about send out cards. Laurie Sheeping is with us today and she kind of introduced me to send out cards. And we wanted to kind of tell you folks about it. it it's a, got a great database. You put the information in one time and it's there. You uh, can choose from hundreds of cards that are, are out there on the site. If you don't like those cards, you can create your own cards. There are, are great templates to kind of guide you along. If you still don't like those, you can actually go over to another portion of, this, of the website and look at other cards that people have created that are more creative than me, and you can use those. You can personalize it. You, again, you can put your handwritten note in there, even your signature, your logo, if your picture, whatever you want to put on the good quality card. And so we began to use that. We also found that we were able to, uh, to attach a gift to those cards, and they were very well received also. Um, Aaron has got a lot of, uh, of his major customers that particularly like the homemade brownies that, uh, that can be shipped out. And you find that, you know, you go in and, and you, you, you look at the card, you click the card you want, you click the customer you want, you're done. They print the card, they pack the card, they take it to the post office and mail it. It's such a time saver. And where I was spending like three days writing all my Christmas cards out before, wanted, wanted to be handwritten on one, one of those special messages, now I can do it in 15 minutes. 
what a great asset it's been to our company. And by the way, did I tell you that I was spending close between eight and ten dollars per package when we were mailing out our own cards and putting our own little promotional item in there? We can do send out cards from five to seven dollars. Don't ever have to go to the post office. What a time saver it is. So Lori's gonna, we don't want to take a whole lot of your time today, but Lori's gonna show us a little bit about how to use it. And Lori, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Oh, and we have a table right outside um, when you're done here. Please stop by our table. We're giving away a $40 gift card and also some of our free brownies. So we want you to please, please register. Yeah, and the brownies are to die for. My clients love them. Again, my name is Lori Shooping, and I do own a uh, business as well. Nothing to do with your business, but I own a home-based travel agency. I started using Send Out Cards four years ago. The gentleman that showed it to me said, Lori, your success in marketing is going to be related directly to how well you build and nurture relationships with your customers. And I had wasted a lot of money doing, trying everything, you know, menus and restaurants, you know, I'm so old I did yellow page ads. So um, tried a lot of different things. From using send out cards, my business now is solely re repeat and referral business. I spend absolutely no money other than my marketing with send out cards. And just to give you a small example how that can work, um, three years ago I had a young couple call me and they booked a trip with four couples. They all went on an all-inclusive vacation. And also because I am home-based, most of my clients I never see face-to-face. -face. So I had to find some way to make myself stick out to people. And I don't care what business you're in, you've got to find a way for people to remember you. And so what I did, I, was, I booked their trip. They immediately, as soon as I booked that trip, I put a picture of their resort that they stayed at on the front of the card. So it wasn't a generic thank you card. So it was very customized to what they were doing. Just like I'm gonna show, um, I'm gonna go into my account, but I have some of Dana's and Aaron's pictures in my account. And I'm gonna show you how I can put a picture of before and after of jobs that he's done on a card, make it very customized to his customer. And so anyway, I sent them that card, thank you card, sent them two brownies and thanked them for their business because I put their birthdays in my account. When it was their birthday, send out cards emailed me two weeks prior and reminded me. So my clients all think I have a great memory, which is funny. I can, Rusty will tell you, I can't remember where I put my car keys. So I sent them birthday cards, they all got Christmas cards. Some of them are having babies now. And so they all got baby announcement cards. Um, I have a lot of veterans that are clients. They get Veterans Day cards from me. So the next year they called me and said, Lori, we want to go on another trip. There was, no, excuse me, there were seven couples the first time. The next time they said there are four of us that want to go again. And said, but this other guy out of town's trying to get our business, but we really like you. And I thought, you like me? You've never met me. Well, I got that sale and it was $4,000 a couple. So that was $16,000 sale that I kept because of send out cards. I know without a doubt that if I had not taken the time to build that relationship with that customer, I would have lost the sale. So that's how I use send out cards and I'm gonna show you, it's a, um, it's a uh, web-based business. So you do not have to download a program in your computer. You just go on the web. You would have your own username, password. You would log in. You can send cards from your iPhone, from your Droid, iPad, or a uh, laptop. So it makes it very easy. If you're doing a job for someone and you have a smartphone, you can literally take a picture of their house, send them a card right there in their yard. So it's really cool. So we're going to show you how it works. And um, again, be sure and look at some of the displays out there and um, we can answer questions. Again, you'll just go to sendoutcards.com and you'll sign in with a user. You'd have your own username and password.
and I'm just going to show you briefly how I would send a card. Uh, first of all, like I said, I mentioned um, when you put your client's birthdays or anniversaries in there, send out cards is going to email and remind you two weeks prior. Also, on your site, you'll have a little clock there, so it's got reminders. So I need to send, um, I need to send this client a birthday card. So I'm going to do that. See how fast the internet is here. Okay, it's going to come up and send out cards. These are what we call stock cards. These are pre-made cards by send out cards. You can use any of these cards. There's over 17,000 cards in the system. I think your average card shop has about 900. So there's a card in here for everything. If you'd like one of these cards, great. You can send it. If not, you can totally create your own. But we're going to start real simple. So let's say I want to send this card. When you see the little gray arrows here, that means there's something on the inside of the card. This one, for instance, here has nothing, so that card is blank inside. But I can look here, I can create a postcard, two panel, three panel, our big card you'll see out there is about the size of a lot my laptop here. But there's a couple samples out there as well. But I'm gonna just send a two panel card. Is this sending them through email or is it going no, through No, no. And I've had people ask that when I've asked them for their address. They said, how are you going to send me brownies in an email? I said, no, this is a physical card. Okay. Um, so they're all printed stuff and mailed from Salt Lake City. You never have to touch them. Sorry, the internet here is a little slow. <clears throat> Where's our girl? Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. It just was slow. Sorry about that. Where's your? Does it go down? You're just up in slide here. There we go. Yeah. Dana, is this your computer? Mm -hmm. I'm working on somebody else's computer, so excuse me. <coughs> like when I click there, how do you make yours come down? There we go. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't get it to expand, expand all the way either. We're having a little bit of te technical mm -hmm. difficulty here. Let's see. Oh, let's see. It's not going. Yeah, I was trying to slide that down. It's not sliding. Yeah. It's that blue button in the corner. That that blue button is uh, that's a um, one more down. Uh, that's if I'm going to continue with the card. So well, let's see. Sure. <coughs> what are you trying to do? Reset? reset no. It? Oh, there it oh, went. There it there, 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 maybe it'll go. Well, it went. You know how it's trying to move it down. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what's <laughs> maybe you know. I can send you around the world, but I'm not much with computers. So. There we go. Oh, There's yeah, the one I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, there again, this is the inside of the card. I can type on the left-hand side. I can type on the right. I can type anywhere where it says click here to write your message. But I'm going to just do something simple today. So if I do happy birthday. I won't get into a big training class today. But it was Kelly. So I want to highlight that. I'm going to center it. Um, we've got some new fonts, so I'm going to change it to let's see, change it to this one. I want to make it bigger. It's not going to make it bigger there. Let's see. I'll leave it. Change it there. And I may want to change the color, so I'm going to go here and just change the color. And also in send out cards, you can do, it's not, 
I was hoping to set up my computer here, but in my computer, I can click on <coughs> insert signature and it comes up with my handwriting and it has my signature. I click on that and it puts my signature in my card. Basically what they do is when you sign up, they send you out a packet and you actually do handwriting samples and you submit it. So it's actually your signature. It's not like a digital craziness. It's actually your signature and they can actually use you writing like they'll send you you know on this form it'll have a b c d e f g and you actually write each one of those letters out and then they translate that into their system so when you write a note it's actually your handwriting printed out so happy birthday will actually be your correct yes. yeah yeah like i can't it won't let me for some reason on this computer go in but i have my personal like he said my personal print so it'll be my printing, and then I put, I've got my signature, I have my husband's, I've got Laurie Shooping, Shooping Travel. Um, you can do as many signatures as you want. And the packages I'm gonna show you later, you get up to four signatures for free in that when you, if you decide to sign up for one of those, what we call bundles, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But I can just go down here and type my name. And so, or if I wanted to put my business. So then I hit continue. It's going to show that this is a two panel card um, right there. I've uh, created a custom backing and that's got Aaron's uh, logo on the back of the card. Um, so um, if you don't do custom branding, then it just has send out cards on the back, but you can do custom branding now. So I have about 10 different backs for cards. You don't have to have the same one for every card. You can have one for personal. You can have one for business. Uh, we have one with Santa and myself on the back of a card, so you can make it, you know, all kinds of different things. But this is for Aaron's business. Okay, because I'm in my account. Normally, if they were in their account, it would come up with their name. Whatever you have on your account, it's going to show it there. But if I want to add my business, I just type it here. And Dana mentioned, I used to do my Christmas cards and I would send about 120 Christmas cards to my top clients. It would take me 12 hours to sit down and handwrite them. Last year we sent 525 Christmas cards. It took me eight minutes. So a big use of time. There again, I can send this card out today. I can hit specific date. The calendar will come up. So literally, if I wanted to send Christmas cards, I could create my Christmas card today and have them go out December 1st. Um, so you can um, send it out. Most of my cards go out immediate. And one other thing you could do with that birthday she's talking about, like if you didn't want to ask somebody for their birthday, you can actually use that as your uh, anniversary date. And there's actually an anniversary date in there, but you can use that as an anniversary date to remind the customer, hey, it's that time of year again, and you can send one of those out. So then you're not having to sit there and manually go back through your calendars and everything. It'll automatically notify you that, hey, Mrs. Jones, you know, last year you did her driveway and you can send out a card saying, hey, you know, we want you back or whatever else. And so you just hit continue until you see a confirmation number. When you see a confirmation number, that card will be printed tonight after midnight. That card will go in the mail to Kelly tomorrow. Um, and so um, because they're in Salt Lake City, we suggest if you're sending birthday cards to try to send them about a week prior, simply because send out cards sends them immediately. It just takes sometimes the post office a little longer. Um, and that, let's say now if I wanted to change that card, I say, no, I meant to say something else. I could even go in and either cancel that order or, and mo or modify it, and I could redo it if I needed to. So they go, anytime you create a card, it goes in the mail after midnight the next day except in December. When you hit send, it's going straight to a queue to be printed because at that time they're printing a million cards a day. And so they've got to just keep going as fast as they can. But the rest of the year, you've got a little bit of leeway. There again, if you hit immediate, it's going out the next day or you can set it to go out a certain date. Um, I'm gonna show you, uh, and there again, I'm just going over some basics. Anybody that is interested in send out cards, I work with Dana and Aaron. I also have a program called Screen Meet. So if you decide you want to set up for an account, then I can get on the phone with you, send you a link, 
you can actually see my computer. I can walk through and do training with you um, because there's a lot you can do with send out cards and I can't cover it all today. But let's say I wanted to send a custom card. There's a um, block here that says create a picture plus card. This is when you get just a blank template and then you can create this card any way you want. But let's say I'm gonna do this one. There's some pictures I've already loaded. This is from uh, the Aaron took. Here's a picture of a church with a dirty roof. Now, how did you get that to go over there where I could get my, I can't get this, it's gone again. What did you do before, so? You should be able to hit control and then scroll up and down. See, it's, it's scrolling over here, but it's not scrolling. Yeah, so click, click on this side, and then you should be able to scroll. Okay, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is a picture of a church that um, they took before he apparently cleaned it. So I can put that on the front of a card. And then if I want to go over here and add blank text, I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in the word before. And I'm going to change it to white. <coughs> and then, normally I can make it bigger, but it's not letting me click on my different fonts here. Well, it's in there. It's, it's going down. But, um, so I can... Click, you can click on a card with your blank text. You can write anywhere you want on a card, but then I can go to the inside of a card. And there's the picture after he's cleaned it. So that's on the inside of the card at the top. You can see it there. Right there at the top, it'll show you. So that's the inside. So then if I want to come over here and again type the word after, I can type it there. I can move it around, change colors, do anything I want. Then I can come down to the bottom here. I could add. Anything that's under templates or uh, elements, you can add to a card. I rarely, and you'll see cards out there, please look at some of the samples. I rarely ever, ever send a card with white on it because it doesn't cost any more, so you can put as much color or as many elements as you want. But if I come here and type my message, Your computer doesn't like me, Dana. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got it in white. That's why I just go back here to black. <coughs> there again, you've got different fonts, so if you want to change it, you can change it to a different font. Normally, you can click right there. You'll have all kinds of sizes. You can size it. You can move it around. Um, you can change colors. Any of these colors, any colors here, um, you can click on. This will make your colors darker. So you can get as creative as you want. But there again, there's just doing something very simple, writing your personal message. You can have your signature and then you would hit continue. <coughs> there again, this has got her cut their custom branding on the back of the card. 
um, whatever you have it set default, it'll come there. If this was a travel, one of my travel cards, this is what I put on the back of my travel cards. I just click that. Usually I have to do it twice for some reason. And then it changed the back of that card to, to what I wanted it to be. So you can do that. And then there again, when you want to add a gift, you click here. Brownies are our number one seller. I can send a custom card and two brownies to a client for less than $9. That's including shipping. And um, it's amazing what two brownies and a card does for your business. Um, and just to tell you, last week I had researched a trip for someone and they sent me brownies. He backed out and I spent a lot of time researching this trip. I got home last Tuesday and I had brownies in the mail from another company. So I looked up on their website. Their brownies are small than our, smaller than ours, not quite as tasty. They were good, but not as good as ours. And um, they sent me a dozen brownies and it was $50. And I looked at ours. If I had sent a dozen brownies and a custom card, it would have been $23. So you would have had more brownie for half the price. So we are a good deal. Um, there again, there's all kinds of gifts in here. We send gifts to our grandchildren. Um, these are the brownies. They come in two, four, six, eight, and 16, I believe it is. And so um, the, uh, the caramels are very good. I have clients that I've sent those to. I actually have a bracelet on my husband. It was my birthday and I made it real easy. I went to the send out cards account. And I said, this is what I want for my birthday. So I made it very easy for him. Um, but there's all kinds of gifts in here um, that you can choose from. And they, and they change. Some are seasonal, like they had some um, cookies with bunny rabbits and stuff for Easter. They had um, sugar cookies that were, um, you sent me some with the uh, snowmen and the snowflakes. They were really good. She sent me those for my birthday. So you can just click here. You click on your gift that you want. It's going to show that it's two, um, two brownies. It's 10 points, and I'll explain how that works. You just um, add it to you. So now it shows that I have a card. I have two pack of brownies. Check out. There again, it's got my name and address. Now, if this is a brand new customer, you can just type in their information, go down here, hit add to contacts, and it's automatically gonna put it in your contact manager for you. If you already have it in your contacts, then you can just go up here and select contacts, type in first or last name. Let's see if I typed in Susan. And someone came up, I can click on that. Select recipient, it's automatically gonna put in there a name and address. There again, it's gonna go out immediately, shows you how much your shipping is. It's $4.70 to ship that. If it was just a card, it would be, our postage just went down, so it's 47 cents instead of 49. It just went down last week. And so I just hit continue. How much is just a card? Uh, just a card would be 47 cents for postage. Our postage is the same as the post office. Send out cards right now is the number one purchaser of first class postage in the United States. And I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you how, how that works. And it's an actual stamp, it's not a meter. They actually put a stamp on it. So that card and brownies together is 13 points, and I'll explain what that means. So I hit send. So that card and brownies would go in the mail tomorrow, but I don't really want that client to get that yet, so I'm going to cancel the order. Um, and several of you have asked what that means with points. Think of send out cards as a monthly subscription. Um, you're pre-purchasing points or credits that you turn around then and use to send cards and gifts. You have an expense account in there. Your expense account covers postage and any shipping. Um, and so I'll show you how that works. I'm going to cover a couple of what we call bundles. And, um, Are those monthly, yearly? No, well, and I'll explain this. Um, 
this gives you more product. And I'll ex these are fairly new. Send Out Cards has recently, quote, bundled some of our products together to give you more bang for your buck. Whereas I had to purchase them separately when I was started using Send Out Cards. Um, you had, say if you have a monthly subscription of 100 points, your points are 39 cents a piece. A, a standard two panel card, whether it's vertical or horizontal, is three points. So that card customized, you can customize it as much as you want, is going to cost you a dollar and 17 cents. And so you can't, there's nobody in the market that can compete with our prices for customization. Um, like I said, you can customize it as much as you want. What this does, this is a, a business bundle or a personal bundle. What this does, this sets you up on your monthly subscription of $39 a month and you get 100 points every month that you're turning around sending cards and gifts. In the past, our points have been good for 12 months, so if you don't use them all, they're good for 12 months and most people are going to use them up at Christmas. Last week, we just got an announcement. Now, they have extended that to 18 months, so the points are good for 18 months now. Um, there's no contract. You don't have to sign that you're going to use it for a year. You, it's a month-to-month -month, um, uh, program. So if you sign up for Send Out Cards and for some reason you don't like it, you can cancel the account. You can pause it and restart it. It's just if you pause it, you need to wait 90 days to restart it. But as long as you've got points in there, like if you've got 500 points in there and you pause your account, you can still send cards and gifts every month until those points are gone and then restart um, your account if you need to. So they just make it very easy to use. But what this gives you, this starts you out with your 100 points per month. You get that custom branding for the back. And if you'll look at some of my cards out there, you'll see on the back, you'll see send out cards on a lot of them because they were cards that I did before I started using the custom branding. Now I, I can have my logo on the back. I can have name. Like I said, I just did the one with uh, um, Aaron's business. I put the... Um, benchmark pressure wash on the back. I put his name, address, phone number, and his email. You can put as much information on the back as you want. You can put your picture, uh, whatever you want on the back of your cards to make it custom. It gives you the real estate of the back of that card. Instead of having Hallmark or send out cards on the back, it's got your business on the back. Because everybody looks on the back of the card to see where it came from. Um, so anyway, this gives you the custom branding. You get your four free signatures. So they can be business signatures, you know, personal, whatever you need. You get your, start you out with 100 points and you get enough storage for 1,500 contacts with this account. Um, the renewal is $49 a year and that renewal is just for the, uh, because you're doing custom branding. Because like last year I had to buy, the, I paid $195 just for the custom branding last year, or excuse me, $149. And so that's a renewal fee just for that. A marketing bundle has uh, a little bit more. You still get your custom branding. It's $3.95 and that's a one-time charge. That's not per year. Um, like if you buy this um, personal bundle, you pay $1.95 one time and then $39 a month and you're getting 100 points every month to send cards and gifts. Um, I use about 500 points a month. Um, and then uh, you pay $49 a year to renew. So you're not paying that $1.95 again. Um, same thing with the marketing bundle. It's $3.95. You, there again, you get your custom brand manager. You get a training portal. Um, this is a, it's called Master Relationship Marketing, and it tells you how to use send out cards, and not just send out cards, but how to do, do emails and how to reach out and touch your customers in many different ways. Um, actually, last year I drove through a blizzard to Pittsburgh to take this class. And um, I paid, I think, $159 for the class. But now it's online, and that's included in this bundle. Um, you also get um, uh, 2,500 contacts. And so you get more uh, memory and more contacts. You still get your um, handwriting font. But you start off with 200 points instead of 100. And, and the, when you buy one of the bundles, those points that you first purchased there are good for 60 days. And the reason being, they don't want them to sit there. They want to get you started. They want you to start using send out cards because there's no use to have a send out cards account and never send a card. It's not going to benefit you. It's only going to benefit you if you use it. And I love to teach people to use this because I know what it's done for my business. Um, there is a business bundle, but I don't really think anyone here needs to, to invest in that because it has sub accounts underneath it. So uh, I think either the marketing, the personal bundle 
or the marketing bundle would be your best bet to get that customization, your signatures, get you started with your bonus points. And you, I mean, literally, if you signed up today, we can show you how to send a card today. I mean, it's, it's instant. And so you can send a card from anywhere. Um, I can teach you how to use your iPhone, your Droid to send cards. Does anybody have questions? Because I know this is so different. Yes. Uh, point that I wanted to make too. With, with the database, you can open up different groups. Oh. For instance, I have a group for Benchmark, I have a group for family, I have a group for church, different groups. And then if you wanted to send like um, you know, uh, something to your Sunday school class or something, you could use a specific part for that group. But I especially enjoy the family because, again, it's going to remind me of birthdays coming up or anniversaries or things like that. And I can go ahead months in advance, really, and I'll pick out a card that I'm going to send. It. And they have uh, the, the gifts. You can go into all those. I mean, they've got every kind of, uh, of gift pack you can imagine, including jewelry and things for your wife. Also, have gift cards. So if you want to just throw a gift card in the mail, you can, you can do that. But, but I love it because, you, again, you can put those different groups in there. You're, you're not paying any extra for that. That's all included. And it's, it, believe me, if Lori and I can do it, you can do it. It's very easy to do. <laughs> and yeah, because I mean, I've had a few complete computer glitches here today. You know, when I'm on my computer, I feel like I'm much faster. But, and, and I'll answer your question. She did mention our contact manager, you do not pay for it's free. You just decide how much you want to pay for your cards and gifts. Um, you know, which, which marketing bundle would work best for you. Uh, your contact manager is free. And as a travel agent, I had looked at a lot of different CRMs, client relationship marketing packages, and some were, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars to purchase, and then, you know, huge monthly fees to maintain. So, um, and like she said, when you go in and create groups, I have a lot of groups. I do cards for my Sunday school class. I'm in a networking group that I do cards for. Um, you can name your groups, make them as specific to your business as you need to, so that it'll be easy for you. You could put groups in there by zip code. You could do it by price point. You could do it by churches, homes, condos, cities, anything, <coughs> however you want it, or by month, however you wanted to make your groups. You can go in and create groups, um, and you can see I have a lot of different types of groups here, most of mine related to travel. Um, and um, there again, my Sunday school class. Um, I do a lot of missionary travel, so I have a lot of uh, churches in here. But there again, like this Knutson group, that was a cruise group that I did. So I created, I did Knutson group. Then when I went to main manager, uh, main, excuse me, main menu and new contact, I just listed my contacts there. You just put in, you only have to put in name and address. That's all you have to put in to send a card. But you can put as much information here as you want to keep up with. Because there's a place for work phone numbers, cell phones, fax numbers, websites. Here's where you put your birthday, anniversaries. That's how Send Out Cards knows to email you and remind you. You can put spouse, you can add children. Then you go down and you click on and put them in a group. And there again, like Dana said, the reason you want to start creating groups is so at Christmas you may want to send a different Christmas card to your family than you would to your business associates. So you can make it as specific as you want. And there again, this is something that, I know it's a lot to absorb just me up here talking, but we do training, you know, one-on-one -on -one training with you and get you started. We really want to benefit anyone that's interested in using it. But um, um, you can go in, enter your contacts here, find if you just need to look up a contact, you go here, add first or last name, you can pull up contacts. Also, send out cards will store every card you've ever sent. So if you send someone cards, like I have a lady that I went to church with that had cancer, and I would send her a card every month. So I would go back and look to make sure I didn't send her the same card. And so it will store every card as well. Um, you had a question. Yeah, can you import, import your contacts? If, if the, right now, if, they, if you can get them into an Excel spreadsheet, then they can be imported. And they are working on some things right now to be able to interface with other um, um, CRMs. So that's coming in the future, like um, car salesmen, I think they use Salesforce is a program they use. So they're working on those being able to interface. But 
when you go to um, company under tutorials, mm -hmm. there's a tutorial there on how to import your contacts. Also, if you need help, they have a support desk that will help you. Because I know I had one, late, one business that signed up that had 4,000 contacts, so obviously they didn't want to type them all in. And the support desk, desk is very good. I know that if you think you've wiped out your database, you have not. They can find it for you as they help you. Yeah, because I've deleted all my contacts, but one twice now. Uh, when I got in a hurry and did something backwards, and I pulled up and I had one contact instead of 4,000. I'll say this. Thank you card in two counties will go a long way. At Christmas time, my big contractors will send eight families a Christmas card. They literally fight over the families. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. People said, am I going to get a brownie? <laughs> I mean, you know, they're they're not not yes. What about cost of your points? $39. Um, well, there again, if you purchase the marketing bundle, you start out with 200 points. You can set your subscription on a monthly basis. If you find yourself like me, I was having to buy 100 points every week, especially like right now it's my busy time of year. So I would use sometimes use 100 points in a day. So I was having to constantly go in and buy points. So I, during this time of year, I usually set my subscription at 500 points a month. And then when business starts to slow down a little bit, I can go back in and lower it. So yes, you have a custom account manager. You can change that, or if you go right here to main menu. Well, there again, on this computer here, for some reason, this there. We'll be here. We don't want to. We don't want to go over our time. But okay. We do have a, a table set up out here. Please come by and see us. Yeah. We are going to give away gift cards. If there's a place where you can just go brownies. in and buy uh, ten points. We've got some brownies today. I have some more brownies coming. They did not make it for this meeting, but hopefully by tomorrow. We are these coming out of California by chance? No, it's not like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be out there at the table if anybody has a question. Thank you.